up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are not in Florida anymore, boys. Kimmy and I just landed in Vegas about two hours ago. We're heading over to Spring Mountain Motor Raceway, I think it is called. Motor Resort. Dang it! We're heading over to Spring Mountain Motor Resort. It's where they hold the Ron Fellows two-day driving course for new Corvette owners. It's about an hour outside of Las Vegas. We're gonna be spending two days there and then two days back in Vegas once we're all done with it. I'm probably gonna split this up into two videos. I wanna bring you guys along with me in the C8, so I'm gonna show you guys, you know, exactly what we do in this whole two-day course. Alright guys, so this is our apartment for the next two days. Check out this bathroom. And then you got basically like a studio. You got a king size bed with a kitchen. This is huge. You got a nice little living room, everything. Dining room. And the best part, we got our own balcony that overlooks the racetrack. Holy cow, look at this. This is so cool. Wow. We'll probably get a tour of it tomorrow. 7.45 tomorrow morning, we start our class. So I'll bring you guys along. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys classroom stuff, but definitely the track stuff. I'll get the GoPros mounted on my C8. Everybody's assigned one C8 and you get that C8 the entire time you're here. So that's really cool. Here's a couple of the C8s for the class and a couple of Camaros. We get a rapid blue one just because I couldn't order one. It'd be fun to drive one for a couple days. I don't know which one's mine, but we're going to find out here shortly. I don't even see a white one. Oh, there is. No, there's, there isn't a white one. Well, we're not getting a white one. Well, Matt, thumbs up. Good deal. So keep in mind the radio volume is adjustable off of the regular stereo adjustment. As far as the seat position goes, you just never want to put yourself in a position where you feel like you're reaching for the controls. You want to be up on the wheel, have a good bend in our elbow, and inherently if we do that, that will also put us close to the pedals where we can use the brakes for full potential if necessary. All right, boys, we are in the C8. We got a yellow one. Guys, this thing's completely loaded. Yeah, this is a 3LT. It's got all the carbon fiber bits. It's got an Alcantara steering wheel. It's got the actual track seats, I believe, because of the uh, fabric here. This is so cool. We got our CV radio so we can talk to our instructor, see if we get like car sick or something happens, whatever. So we're going to head out to the exercise here in just a moment. This car's got 2,700 miles on it, so it's pretty much new. And we're going to begin the morning off with a ABS braking exercise. So we're going to practice how to properly engage the ABS as well as practice some accident avoidance maneuvers. So as we make our way up to the top of the paddock here, we're just going to hang a tight left, stay nose to tail. Brake and steer to what we tell you to do. You will not know until you get there. It is very slick on purpose. We will be standing down there. You'll be heading right at us and we'll go left or right and you'll go break and steer through that object. And Matt, you can begin your run. All right. 35 as well. 35. Once you get to that braking zone, firm on the brakes, try to stop it quickly. All the way. All the way and perfect within like a foot or two of the previous run of fall. So good job. All right, Matt, begin your run. Same thing, 35, right when you get to the cones, right to the floor. There you go, good. Keep it flying. Excellent. Very, uh, a little bit shorter stopping on that one as well. I've got a full car length. Nice. The ABS system on this thing is really good. Like it stops, so just slam on it. All right, Matt. You can begin your run. Eyes up for Jason. Here, okay, full break. Excellent. You can maybe go to the 100% break a little bit quicker, um, but otherwise the steering input was smooth and that's what I'm most focused on right now. Gotcha. All right, so I didn't slam the brakes hard enough on there, but I did stop pretty good, so we'll slam a little harder next time. Whew, this is so much fun, guys. If you guys get a chance, do this. You learn so much about the car. All right, Matt, begin your run. Looking up for Jason. Can you get any traction? Can we get some traction? Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stay on it, you got it. All right, good job. Good correction there. That little adjustment in your brake pressure to correct the vehicle and get the direction back where you needed to, that was perfectly fine. And Matt, you can begin your run. Threading the needle, stay on it. Good job. And we're just going to go around them in a particular way. We'll cover it when we get down there. This is a really slow exercise. Both these exercises, you can just put it in dry. But really, this is about looking. You can see him looking to the right and then turning. And then when you go around, this is the number two cone. 
The number one cone now becomes your reference, but you gotta be looking this way. So it's about, you can't just stare straight ahead the whole time. Uh, we gotta really look for the corner and then just kind of plan it out. So you'll see him in the car. All of a sudden, now he's looking over here. Go right ahead. So we turned in too early. You gotta wait oh. for the right time to begin turning. That's very important, as well as the precision on where to place the car. Excellent job right there. Very good job, Matt. See, we just gotta think about it a little bit and we can do it. Matt, thank you for that. Steve, pull up to the starting line. You just saw Matt make a darn near perfect run. And you got that car that you asked for this morning, so I want to see some good effort from you, okay? Go that was awesome. Rolling. Scanning around, scanning around, looking where you're going to turn. That very first corner I took a sharp, but now I realize you got to go a little, a little further early. than that. Going blindfolded, huh? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Just pull that across there. It, yeah, it's going to have to block off your GoPro there for a second. No problem. So, once no, again, no. just think about what you're doing. Before uh -huh. you do anything, Everybody think about it. That's all you got to do. Absolutely. Where does the car need to be? You guys have your hands on the steering wheel. You're doing the driving. It's not a computer that's just doing it for you. Matt, go right ahead, sir. We are blindfolded, boys. Here we go. Steve, pull up to the starting line for me, please. Get up here, Steve, throw it in park for me, please. Matt, perfect run. Uh, flat sun visor down so you can safely get back to that staging area, please. Perfect run, boys, perfect run. Guys, that was a ton of fun. We learned about braking, ABS, and then our turn-ins right. with precision and accuracy. So I guess that's all gonna combine up to us doing like autocross and stuff like that. I learned a lot. I think everybody here learned a lot. They got so much better as we kept going through it. First track session, don't think of it as trying to push ourselves very fast by any means we're going to keep the speeds low by in, um, on purpose we are going to focus on it's starting to learn the driving line a little bit and also get comfortable with utilizing the paddle shifters all right guys so we're on the track now we're going to get to get to know the so track roll on, when you're the driver directly behind me trying to follow my line just like tracks in the snow wherever my vehicle goes do your best to replicate that heading into turn two down shifting one to third gear Blade apex, a lot of curving to use, so get comfortable with putting your vehicle on top of the white and blue curve. All right, guys, we just finished up lunch. I'm gonna show you guys the seat that I've been driving. It's the yellow one. I wanted the rapid blue one over there. These things are all loaded. They all are three LTs. They got the suede all around. They all have the track seats, which are really cool to kind of see and use. All right, so we're about to do the figure eight you guys saw in that video. This thing's gonna have like no nannies on, so it's just gonna be slipping and sliding. We're just gonna have fun. And then we get to do that oval track, which will be pretty cool. It looks like this. So you got a turning cone, apex cone. There's an apex cone there. More importantly, there's a turning cone, apex cone right there. So you're gonna accelerate up, brake to slow down, balance with the brakes. Somewhere around here, you're gonna get off the brakes and wait till you unwind and then accelerate. And then you're gonna have to do it again. Brake. Matt, if you wanna follow me here, get you around a lap or two, then I'll hand you off to Jason. All right, boys, we're doing the oval now. We gotta learn how to turn. Out of corner. All right, man. So first of all, let's work on the eyes, just like we do with Paul. Eyes all the way down to the turning cone. Mark it. Eyes left. Look for the apex. Make sure you're in manual mode. Make sure you're in third gear, man. Click the apex. Look for the edge of the track. All the way to the edge. If you're leaving more space there, you can unwind that steering wheel a little bit more if you want to. Turn it a little bit late there. Turn it a little bit earlier next time. That was not easy. Uh, no. That was hard. There's literally just a cone in the middle of the road on one end and a cone on the middle of the road at the other end. And you're just going to go around it however you want. Okay, I don't care if you do a figure eight, you can do an oval here and a big orange cone here. Everything off, you're in sport mode, that way the steering's a little easier. Okay. Let's go slow a couple times, it is a lot more slick than what you think. Okay. Yeah, just make sure we stay on our area here. Tap the brakes. Just a little bit of brake. There you go. Oh, so it'll kind of grab. Woo! Lightly now. 
and drag them into the corner. Oh, uh, okay. Now, here's the trick with this, though. Mm -hmm. You're going to start feeling, well, Chris, I'm going way too slow. Okay. Well, then you'll have to feel out that brake pressure or just go faster into the corner so when you're hitting the brakes the same, it doesn't oversell. All right, so that that was not, that was not easy. That was, that was tough. Basically, we're just going to figure eight around a wet track, and you're kind of just feeling it out feeling how the front tires catch and release and slide and it's hard. It's not easy. All right, Matt, let's get in the fourth gear, please. And you can go however quick you feel comfortable. And then back down to fourth. Again, be patient on the throttle here, okay? So you made the throttle right there, but you have to lift off there. Turn it more. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're going to... Right, guys that was an insane ride along but so educational it was it was great i hope i can remember everything that i saw with the ride along and and then do those things tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and get you guys a drone shot of the racetrack and uh, that'll be the end of today's video because this is a lot of information on one video i'm gonna split it up into two days but go ahead and like and subscribe to the video make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys know when the, tomorrow's video comes out and as always thanks for hanging out thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next video later